We've got nickel box number 10 to hunt. But the question is, will we have any fillers? Stay tuned and find out. Hello, and welcome back to TL Treasures. We've got box number 10 of the series. Now, if you're new to the channel, we're usually looking for 1930s, 40s, 50s, we're also looking for Silver War nickels. We're looking for Buffaloes. We're looking for Liberty V nickels. We're looking for oddities, varieties, anything else that we can come across that may seem of interest. So we're going to go ahead and pop the top on this bad boy. See if we got any enders going on. See if anything looks interesting. Hopefully we get some fillers for the book. We got 16 slots to go. And it does look like everything's circulated. So that's a pretty good sign pretty excited to get this hunt going you know the drill as soon as we have a fun we'll bring you back in now let's get on rolling roll number two is going to give us our first find of the box we've got a 1957 denver still on roll two and we've got a 1954 philadelphia roll number four and we've got a 1938 Denver. Now that's pretty sweet. That is a key date. I think there was just over 5 million of these minted. I'm pretty sure I already got one in my book, so it's not going to be a filler, but that is a good find. Roll 5, and we've got a 1958 Denver. Now with these, we can go ahead, check the mint mark on them, see if there's anything going on. Looks pretty normal, but still, we'll set it aside and keep on rolling. Still on roll five, and we've got a 1948 Philadelphia. Once again, roll five, 1940 Philadelphia. Roll number eight, and we've got a 1942 Philadelphia. You got that big mint mark above the Monticello. That means we've got ourselves a silver war nickel. I already got this one, but it's always good to find silver. We'll set it aside and we'll keep on rolling. Roll number nine, and we've got a 1953. Philadelphia. Roll number 10, and we've got a 1959. Denver. Roll number 11 is gonna give us a 1946. Philadelphia. Roll number 12 is going to give us our first foreign, and it's a Canadian, 1867 to 1992. Roll 13 is going to give us a 1948, Denver. Roll 15, and we've got a 1955. I've been looking for the Philly, and all I seem to be getting lately is the Denver's. So let's hope I can do it. Hey, and we got the Philly finally. Now she ain't a pretty coin. Not by any means. But I've been wanting this one. It's a semi-key date. I finally have it. I'll take that all day long. We'll set it aside and keep on rolling. Roll 16 is going to give us a 1939. Philadelphia. So we can go ahead and check for DDR and DDO on this one. Everything looks about like it should. Don't see nothing jumping out. Let's go ahead and go to the obverse. Uh, she's looking pretty normal. I don't think we got that, but still, 1939. Not a bad find. Still on roll 16. We've got a 1958 Denver. Roll 17. And we've got ourselves a 1943 Philadelphia. It's our second silver war nickel of the box. We'll go ahead, toss that one under, see if we got the three over two. See if there's any doubling going on here. There is no doubling. Either way, two silvers, 
We'll take it. Roll number 20 is going to give us a 1957 Denver. Still on roll 20, and we've got a 1954 Denver. Roll 23 is going to give us a 1959 Denver. Roll 27 is giving us a 1946 Philadelphia. Now I've already checked for the DDR and there was nothing on that, so we'll keep on rolling. Roll 28, and we've got a 1947 Philadelphia. Roll 29 is giving us another foreign coin, and this time it's not Canadian. We have a 1975 Bermuda. Still on roll 29, we've come across the 1954 Philadelphia. Roll 30 is going to give us a 1954. This one being a Denver. Roll 44 is going to give us a 1956 Philadelphia. Pop that under really quick. We'll look to see if there's any doubling. And not seeing it. Still, good fine. We'll set it aside and keep on rolling. Roll 36 is going to give us a 1951 Denver. Roll 38. And we've got a 1959 Denver. Still on a roll 38. And we found a 1939 Philadelphia. I'll go ahead, check the obverse and the reverse for doubling, and we'll bring you back in if we found anything. Roll 39. And we found a Buffalo 1936. Pretty beat up looking. Still, we'll set it aside. We'll take those all day long. Let's keep on rolling. Roll 40, and we've got another 1939, and another Philadelphia. Once again, I'll check for the DDO and the DDR, and if I find anything, I'll be sure to let you know. Roll 41 is going to give us a 1954, Denver. Roll 43, and we've got a 1946, Philadelphia. Still on roll 43, and we've come across the 1958 Denver. We'll take it. Roll 44, and we've got a 1957 Denver. Still on roll 44, and we've come across the 1949 Philadelphia. Roll 45, and we found a dateless buffalo. No mint mark on the back. We'll go ahead and throw some Nicodane on it, see if we can pull a date. I mean, it is dateless, so it doesn't really have a lot of value anyways. I look at it, may as well go ahead and do the Nicodate, see what we got. All right, now that we're done using the Nicodate, looks like we've got a 1916. Almost looks like 1918, but we'll pop it under the scope just to be sure. And yeah, I'm going to go with 1916. That's a good find. We'll set that aside and keep on rolling. Roll 45, and we have a 1951 Denver. Roll 45 is also going to give us a Canadian scent. We've got a 1984. Roll 49 is going to give us a 1941 Philadelphia. A little corrosion on there. We're still gonna take it. Well, that's the end of our hunt. So let's go ahead. We'll do a quick little recap and see what we ended up with. We had four finds from the 1930s. One of them being that 1938 Denver key date. And that was pretty exciting. From the 1940s, we had 11 finds in total. Two of them being the Silver War Nickels. Pretty stoked about that. And when it comes to the 50s, we had 19 finds in total. But my favorite find of them all was that 55 Philadelphia I've been searching for. That's a semi-key date. We were also excited to end up with two buffaloes 
And one of them, after nicodating, turned out to be a 1916, so that was pretty cool. And we had three foreigns in total, one of them being the Bermuda. We have a small little stack here that could be possible upgrades. They looked good. I pulled them aside. We'll go ahead, compare to the book. I'm pretty sure we have a filler this time, and maybe some upgrades. All right, we're back. And we do have a couple upgrades, and we've got one filler. We'll go through our upgrades first. We're going to upgrade that 1963. It's got a bit more shine to it. We'll upgrade the 1968S. I seem to like that one a bit better. As well as the 1973. Now when it comes to our fillers, of course, it's going to be that 1955 Philadelphia. Still pretty excited I found that. This means we've got six, no, 15 slots left to fill. And the newest one I need is the 2022 Denver. Like I say, I'll come across that eventually. It just has to make its way here. Other than that, it's all some of that older stuff. If you liked this video, go ahead, hit that thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time.